So I've been getting asked quite frequently how to properly wipe or format a drive. And people have been asking for multiple reasons, whether that is they're trying to clean off a drive and you know, they're selling their laptop and they want to clean it off as quick as best as possible. Or, you know, you've migrated your OS from one drive to another and you want to wipe that original drive and use it for something else. Or you just are moving data off of that drive and you are going to be using it for something else. Uh, it's not OS related. There's a lot of reasons you might want to do this. And there's a lot of methods that you can use. Now, there is a baked in method in Windows, although the problem with the baked in method in Windows, I will show you, is that it can't do everything, especially if it's OS stuff related. And I will go with that in further detail. But there's also some ways that you can do this improperly that may not be doing all of the things that you are expecting. So without further ado, let's just hop right into it. So the improper method is someone will go here and be like, oh, you know, this is my 500 gig drive. I know that 500 gigs doesn't usually actually mean 500 gigs. So all I'll do here is just right click on it, format it, and then I'm good to go. In reality, this is just wiping the partition and not the actual physical drive itself. Um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that you can partition drives to have multiple virtual drives on them. And this was very common when hard drives were important and the only method of storing on your computer when there was no SSDs. You would normally want to partition your hard drives, especially larger hard drives, so that if there was an error on one partition, it wouldn't affect the whole drive. It was important to help uh, safe keep your data. It's not as important anymore. But when doing things like trying to wipe a uh, drive that used to be for an OS, there are partitions that are hidden on there and that you want to make sure you get rid of as well. So directly within Windows, you can go ahead and launch disk management by clicking disk partitions, and you'll get something called create and format hard disk partitions, whether you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Go ahead and launch that. And you'll see that on this drive, I have another partition. And within disk management, you can do this very easily and you can just get rid of partitions by right clicking and deleting the volume. And as soon as you press yes, it's gonna do that. It, this is a little bit different than tools like Minitool and Aomi, where you lay out all the changes you wanna do and then you apply them afterwards. In disk management, as soon as you click yes, it is gonna do that thing. So once that's done, I can go ahead and delete the K partition as well by right clicking it, deleting the volume, pressing yes, and our drive is now empty. Now this is empty from a visual standpoint. There are no more partitions on it. We can go ahead and right click on this, create a new partition, extend the whole thing of the drive and we'll have something absolutely brand new. That'll be the full size of the drive. This method is fine if you're just planning on reusing the drive yourself, but if you are planning on giving the drive away to somebody else, whether it's you know in a laptop or you're selling a computer with a hard drive in it, whatever, this is not properly wiping the drive and overriding old data with zeros so that someone can't recover it because data is recoverable if you don't go through proper processes. Now, the other downside of disk management is that if you had copied uh, your OS drive, for example, you will usually have these two partitions, the system partition and the recovery partition. And even if it's not on the main boot drive, if these partitions were on this disk 12, it still would not allow me to delete them with disk management. It's a safety thing for Windows. It doesn't know that those aren't actually currently in use. It thinks that they're still being used and you can't use disk management to do that. So that's where I would lean more heavily on using Minitool or Aomi. Now I've done videos on Minitool and I've done videos on Aomi. If you want, you can go ahead and check them out. I will link them up top and in the description. But the nice thing about the things that we're gonna be using them for today is that it is part of the free version. So you don't have to pay for anything. You'll, you won't get paywalled or anything like that. These actions are part of the free versions and it makes life a lot easier. As great as disk management is, it doesn't allow you to do everything, and I'll show you. All right, so if you hop into Minitool, uh, we go down to our disk 13, we'll see that we have that new partition that we just made. If you click on the actual disk itself, we have two options here. We have wipe disk and delete all partitions. Delete all partitions will do the same thing that we were doing in disk management, where it will just remove the partition, allow you to create new ones, and basically write over 
old data and stuff like that. Things that are deleted, but not technically deleted. Wiping the disk, however, goes a step further. And what it does is it writes zeros or whatever option you choose. I'll show you that in a second over top of the old data to make it much more difficult to recover. So this is what you would want to do if you are giving that drive away in an old computer or what have you, or you're selling it, you would want to do some kind of wipe disk where it's going to fill the sectors, whether it's with zeros, with ones, you know, you can choose how methodical you want to get with that. And obviously the slower processes are doing a much more in-depth wipe. And with Minitool and Aomi, it is extremely similar where they have the same kind of options. You can delete all the partitions or you can wipe the disk. And you know, you can also just right click in here and delete a partition as well. So that's an option, but just keep in mind, there is a difference between just deleting and then wiping. Wiping is much more involved and it helps reduce the possibility of someone recovering data. Deleting a partition is a lot quicker. And, you know, for the most part, if you're going to be reusing your drives, you don't need to worry too much about wiping the disk. So there are also ways of doing this through the command prompt, but I do know that most people watching my videos are probably not very comfortable using the command prompt. It's a much more intimidating way to do things. And they would prefer using a graphical interface like a Yomi and mini tool and disk management. However, if you would like me to do the video showing you how to do this with command prompt, leave a comment down below. If enough people ask, I would be more than happy to put together a video for you all. So I cannot reiterate this enough, but you do want to double and triple check that you have all the data that you want from your drive before you wipe or delete it. It is going to be extremely hard to get any of that data back if you delete it, and it's going to be near impossible to get it back if you wipe it. So be extremely confident that you have everything you need from that drive before doing all, the, all these things because it isn't reversible. Um, and if it is reversible, it's extremely difficult to do and it's not guaranteed to get everything. So please be sure. I know it can be a daunting process, but just double check and make sure that you have the stuff that you actually care about. And even more care needs to be used when deleting the recovery or system partitions. Even if they're not on the boot drive, sometimes Windows will look at those drives. So what I normally recommend to people, especially, you know, when you're migrating your OS from one drive to another, you'll have those system and recovery drives on the original drive. I would always suggest unplugging that original drive first, booting into Windows on your new drive and the drive that you want to use going forward. And then once Windows is booted up, plug the old drive in, and then you can be happy and confident that you can safely delete all of those part partitions on there. I'm just helping you guys make sure that you uh, dot your I's and cross your T's and that you don't make a mistake or make an error and delete something that you didn't mean to delete. So I do hope that this video helped you out if you are trying to wipe or format a physical drive. I hope that maybe you learned something new about the way that drives and partitions work. And if not, I hope you at least found it interesting. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you like subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. If you want more involved help, however, heading into the Discord is the best way to get help. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Lost Lime and Step Back, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you do want to see any of my other partition related videos, you can go ahead and check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.